Hello there everybody, Jesper Grip here for Creativo.com and today I'm going to show you how to do this folded bird here by WellGraphic. Uh, we thought it was a pretty good bird so we're going to make it into a tutorial. Uh, we start off with a folded origami like bird like this. It's not needed at all, it just makes it easier to trace. Uh, and then we just pull in a white bird like this. Uh, and we just positioning the head here. We want to start off with just the head, it's usually the easiest to start off with. Uh, and then we just take this and we select something like this and then back and up uh, and then what we do is we make a new group and we put a layer mask on this group uh, and we take our bird and we pull it inside and it will get affected by the layer mask but you still have it on a separate layer so that's pretty good so you can move the bird around now as you want please so if you see here we, we can move it around inside the layer mask and we can move it around like just as we want it to. So that's a pretty sweet way of doing it. Uh, and this is what we basically will do. So I'm going to make it new here. I'm going to just trace this piece of paper and up here and here and there. Uh, I used the polygon lasso tool for this. I find it very easy to use. So let me just make a new group, put a lay mask on that, take our bird once again and we pull the bird in. Uh, what we want to do now is just make sure that we I usually scale it up and then you want to have the neck here something around there so it fits fits pretty good uh, and we, we're just gonna move this a little bit up something like that and um, you want to make sure there's no like spaces between and such so I'm gonna actually resize this a little bit bigger I'm gonna put it around there and now we just trace again. Trace here and then all the way back and then down and then all the way up. And something like this. Something like that. And then once again, new group, layer mask, pull our bird in. Or we could actually do it one easier way, and that's just Control J on this one, and we just pull that one down, and there we go. Another piece of bird there. And I'm gonna re move this a little bit. You don't want it. You want it to break, so you you see that there's a line between. So you don't want it on exactly the same spot, because uh, that's not fun. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, and then once again, we'll trace. We'll trace from here, down here and then up and then back down like that and new group layer mask we take our bird in pull it in something like this I wanted wing to be there now so like that and then we're going to trace again I'm going to move this group a little bit down just around there uh, the sweet thing with having these groups is that you can move them all the time, so that's really nice. Uh, and then we just trace all the way back, and we trace all the way up, and then there, and there. Like that, new group, lay mask, and then control J on this one, pull that in there. And then we just move that bird to around we want it to be uh, at the tail here, so around there and then I'm going to move this group a little bit, just positioning it better like that um, and now we go to the wing part basically, and what we will do then is we will pull in a new bird and we will have it like something around there and then now we won't do it with lay masks and stuff like that anymore, I'm just going to just use the a, a layer mask but <laughs> in another way so I'm going to use this and I'm just pe taking a pen and then take a pretty big and uh, uh, we'll, we'll just delete the bird like this since we won't be needing it anymore like that I'm gonna make it a hard brush and then we want to select white and we just like that okay that's the top wing then and I'm just going to make them drag a bird in again 
We want to make it a bottom wing. I'm gonna take the other wing for that. And we're going to put that below. Like that. Something around there. And then we just raise again with a layer mask on. This is always so. Th th this bird is really easy to make when once you know how to do it. It just that it takes time and a lot of, you know, detailed work. Something around there. I'm just going to go back there because I saw I missed the whole tail part. How that is even possible, I'm not really sure. But I, I'll 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 blame that I'm tired, so I'll have some sim sympathy because of that. <laughs> and now we just want the tail then as well. So what we do then is bring the bird in once more, and we're going to position it below here. I'm gonna put it there, and I'm going to size it up because I want the tail to be bigger. So around here, actually gonna resize it down a little bit. Got a little bit too big. Around there, and I wanted to put it like right here and the back like that and then just layer mask on that and we just erase once more like that uh, remember just to keep them in groups that's really a good tip to all of you to keep them in groups it makes it a lot easier to edit like that and then we just turn off this blue stuff and we just make a new layer and we fill that with white Paint bucket tool. Paint bucket tool. Like that. Okay. And after we've done, we want to just pull in the background. And then I'm going to take here a blue background that I already have for the bird. And we just resize that to fit. And then, as you see, like there's always some small things to edit. And that would be the wings. Um, I'm just going to fix that real quick. And then I'll usually do this because we want it to be a straight line. Like that. And then we just erase. Like that. Deselect. And then we have a pretty straight line. Um, and then we also want to take that away. And now when we've done all this, what we want to do then is of course uh, making shadows to this. Th that's what makes the background look good. So we will mo make shadows. One on this tail here. Create clipping mask. And I'm going to take this to a really uh, soft brush and I'm just gonna pull with black like this. And then we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I want to make it fade pretty much. Something around there and then I will move it up so we have it there. It do, not too too bright but it want to be a clean shadow so it looks like it's folded you know um, and then we do the same on the bottom wing here we make a new layer create clipping mask and then we just want to paint around here we want it to be a little bit you know extra colored here and there uh, and then we just do Gaussian blur again around there and I'll move this in control F we actually do it a few two times more like that uh, and then the top wing create clipping mask and we just paint here control F something like that and we'll move this back to there um, and yeah that's that's that, and then we have this tail piece. Create clipping mask on that one as well, and then I'm just going to paint here and there, and then Control F F twice. Something around there, uh, and here we have that part. <coughs> Create clipping mask then as well. Th this is just, you know, it's always about just going at it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Actually, I'm not going to have a clipping mask on that one for now. I'm going to keep it on this one instead. 
because uh, that one I'm gonna want to keep this wing part top part so we're gonna just keep that without shadows for now uh, and then we just do it here instead uh, all the way down here actually Control F something like that and we just move it up to there as you see now this looks like it's paper pretty good so and then we have the neck part here we'll make uh, no shadows there as well we are going to actually make a one more clippy mask here and I'm going to make a shadow here at the neck also I want to keep them separated usually I don't want to have the shadows on the same layer because it's easier to change it if it's in different layers like always uh, so if you're a photoshopper you know that you usually want to keep them separated so um, create clippy mask here once again and then the last shadow and this one we just want really fade like that and I'm also seeing that there's a little bit of a gap there so I'm going to move this back and I'm also going to move this down below the neck uh, not inside the neck <laughs> like that let's see there so it's below the neck that's what we want okay so that's the bird. Now it's a folded bird and we have everything folded and looking good. So what we do then is we, almost, we just want to make the, the, the light effect, if you're saying like that. So what we're going to do then is really, really simple. We want to select a white and a black, go to filter on a new layer like I just created, and then we go render, clouds, and we get this. Uh, and then we go blur, radial blur, blur radial blur <laughs> uh, and we just put it to around 100 and we put it up in the corner uh, if you follow my tutorials before you've seen this before I use this quite a, much, a lot for good lightning effects and then we just put it to soft light and you see here we get a little bit of a light here uh, you can always uh, you can always also put it to do uh, color dodge if you want it to be more on the bird but I'm gonna keep it on here and I'm going to make a new layer also and I want to keep a big soft brush and I just wanna paint white up here and then go filter blur we can go radial blur again if you want to like if you go radial blur it's just going to blur out like that so that works but I usually do it with the Gaussian blur as well um, so if we put Gaussian blur it's gonna do around the same effect and now we'll get a uh, bit of white hair that shines down our, on our bird and then as you guys saw in the, the Pontus one what we did then was just um, actually importing a branch like this and then we just cut that branch out delete all the white uh, if we just make this a layer first and then delete all the white like that select deselect and then we just pull that branch in here and what you want to do then is like just scale this up to around there put it you know in the corners here and then go to a blur and then Gaussian blur if you want it to look like it's really close to the camera then you just blur it down like this uh, and then you as well want to have one in the beak and then you just take one in and you just scale it like this you put it in his beak but I'm not gonna do that for now so you guys you guys seen the principle of how to do this and uh, make sure you also take this group 5 or the back tail here that's overlapping the wing just make sure to move it down uh, below the wing like this uh, we need to make it sure it's outside of the group as well and like that as and then yeah, so just make sure that the layers are in the right order, otherwise it's going to look bad when you're done with the image. Okay. Make sure to like our Creativo channel, make sure to join us on Creativo.com, and as well thank um, Pontus for his lovely bird here, Folded Dove. Go to Well Graphic on Facebook, and uh, you can see his latest art. He's one of our admins on Creativo as well, so if you have any questions, you can always ask him or me as always. Uh, thank you guys for watching and please remember to comment if you want any tutorial to be made and thank you all for watching.